Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In this video, I want to talk about this little memory resident application, the Clean My Mac menu. You know, I was thinking the only non-photography or non-video related product I do videos on is Clean My Mac. I've been using Clean My Mac since I started using Mac computers a long time ago. I can't even remember how long ago I bought my first Mac. But almost immediately, I uh, purchased Clean My Mac. Uh, Clean My Mac is an application that just first of all, will clean up space on your Mac hard drive. So it'll just give you more room, but it also uh, helps make sure that your Mac is running at its fastest and most efficient. It does things to just keep things in order, make sure that everything is uh, running properly and it monitors for malware. So if you have this little application running up here in the Mac menu bar, like I do, it will be continually monitoring your Mac for malware. So if you happen to open an email, let's say, that has some type of malware in it, it will catch it and um, hopefully it won't infect your computer. Now, the Mac menu, uh, as you were seeing it now, um, is an option. You don't need to have this run up in your Mac menu bar. Um, you have to turn it on and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But let's just quickly go over what is up here. First of all, you have that malware protection I mentioned. You could just make sure that it's on and that your computer is protected. And if you want, you could click check now and it will launch Clean My Mac. In this case, the current version is X or 10. So it'll uh, launch, launch Clean My Mac X or 10 and it will scan your computer for malware. Uh, next to that, you'll see it showing my um, iPhone, uh, showing that I have available on my iPhone 121.05 gigabytes. Now, my iPhone isn't plugged into my computer. It's just on the same Wi-Fi network, so it knows it's there, and I could reclaim space. Now, it doesn't actually do anything directly to the iPhone to reclaim space. If I click on this, it's actually going to open up a web browser and it's going to explain to me how I could go about uh, cleaning up space on my iPhone. Now, if I go back to the Mac menu, next to that we have trash. Uh, so if I had stuff in the trash, I could clean it up uh, here. You can see there's nothing there. Um, load on my CPU, it's showing that I'm varying between like a five and 9% load. If I click the I here, it's gonna show you what CPU heavy processes you currently have running. I have ScreenFlow running. I use ScreenFlow to record the screen. That's what I'm doing right now. So that is a CPU heavy process. So it's showing up here and I could quit it. You can see if I just hover over it, I could quit ScreenFlow. Of course, the recording would stop and you wouldn't see me anymore. Next to that is the um, network itself. Um, um, this is my upload and download speed as it is you know, currently live. And I could test the speed by clicking right here. You can see I'm getting about 145.2 megabits per second download. And uh, here is Dropbox because I am logged into my Dropbox on this computer. It's showing me that I have 1.83 terabytes free on my Dropbox. Now I mentioned that uh, by default, this won't necessarily be on. Uh, you could turn it on by clicking this little gear and going down to preferences. When you do that, it will open up the Clean My Mac application and it will be on the menu tab and you could enable the menu right here. So just click there and enable the menu and you'll have that running up here in the Mac menu bar and it will be constantly monitoring your computer for any issues. And it is very lightweight. I don't even notice it's there. My computer isn't adversely affected by it. I know some memory resident applications sometimes cause conflicts and some, you know, they'll get in the way of some application running. I haven't found that to be uh, the case with Clean My Max menu um, bar or menu application. I haven't found that at all. So I definitely recommend that you have this on so that it at the very least is 
uh, doing real-time malware, well, malware monitoring of your Mac. And uh, if you want to, here, let me close down, clean my Mac. If you wanted to launch Clean My Mac directly, you could go up to the menu bar and just click right here or open Clean My Mac here. So you just click on it and it will open it up directly. So you have easy access to Clean My Mac whenever you want to do a scan. Or if you want to, I've done videos on this, uninstall applications. A lot of times when you just, if you just drag and drop uh, an application to the trash, you're leaving behind some orphan files. There's other support files beside that .app file that should be deleted along with it. And with Clean My Mac, you could use the uninstaller and it will find all those applications or all those files, I should say, that uh, support the application you're deleting and it will delete everything. So it's, um, you know, I use that all the time. So I don't just delete an app by putting it in the trash. I always use Clean My Mac to uninstall any applications. And I run, um, I run a full scan at least once a week. It frees up a lot of hard drive space and it um, does things uh, in the background to make sure that uh, the Mac, my Mac is running smoothly and properly. So that's the Clean My Mac in general and the Clean My Mac menu bar specifically. In the description below this video, I have a link uh, to uh, their website if you want to check it out. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.